Devin Abraham, number 20 from Tarpon Springs, Florida. Tampa is a, a really big city, so I mean, you have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to see, and uh, I've been here for pretty much my whole life, so it, it's been a fun experience so far. This is my brother Micah and my little, my little sister Olivia. He isn't that tall anymore, he's probably taller than me now though. This is my freshman year against Houston. My little sister playing soccer, and this is my brother's first year at IMG. But a lot of people tell me that I play with my dad, you know, uh, instinctive, smart, and uh, just things I like to base my game off of. The son of the former Tampa Bay Buck, Donnie Abraham, with the interception for the Bulls. You know, my dad's a laid-back laid type of guy. He, he isn't, you know, too much pressure on, you should do this, you should do that. He's just a cool guy. He just goes and does his job, and he, he's just a normal dad. It's, it's a normal life. He didn't want me to feel like I had to play football. He kind of let me do my own thing. We made a bet when I was in high school that if I had 10 interceptions, he'd let me wear uh, his Pro Bowl cleats, but I never got there. He had a coach that wanted to make him a tennis player, golf, baseball. Basketball, you were all right at basketball, right? You were all right. Yeah. Yeah, he was all right at basketball. Uh, he was a pretty uh, pretty awesome kid. Uh, you know, starting from a young age, he was a, a kid that always did what he was supposed to do, which was kind of strange. Uh, but he was always neat, always had to have things in order, uh, and just a fun kid to have. I chose USF because uh, I wanted to stay close to home, you know. I'm a, I'm a homebody. I wanted to be able to see uh, my little brother and my little sister grow up in, into their sports, and I wanted them to be able to see uh, me uh, continue playing college ball. I had an interception right here around the 10, 20 yard line that we thought sealed the game, but uh, they ended up scoring the next drive. Uh, my senior year against Dwyer in the end zone down there, I scored the, the game tying touchdown to take us into overtime, but we ended up losing two. But those are probably two of my favorite plays that I, I made here. And my mom was on the sideline every game. She would take pictures. Uh, she, uh, that's what she did. That was her thing. Well, it's a good thing that he did decide to stay home. I mean, it, it gives me an opportunity to get to some of the games. I remember his first game playing in there. He, you know, he sent me a text, uh, uh, and he was like, Dad, I'm playing in the same stadium you played in. So, you know, that was that was pretty unique. we see where this thing goes, you know. I, we don't know what God has in plan for him, but, uh, you know, his, his future looked good either way, whether he plays or not. I currently am on track to graduate uh, next spring with my communications, and I want to hopefully get my master's in sports business. But, uh, you know, our, our academic advisors do a great job with us. They, they set us up for success. They put us in classes that we need to be in, and they just stay on us. They make sure that we're going to class and getting what we need to do, because when all else fails, you need your degree. Football won't last forever.